あらどうなんでしょうか、oh, wow. Will Smith sucker punches Chris Rock over a joke about his wife Jada Pinkett I imagine he regards himself as defending her honor, but in reality, triggered snowflake Will Smith is probably planning to dye his hair and become real active on Twitter because this joke piece him off. Piece him off so bad that he gonna walk up there and suck Chris Rock right in his mouth. Haha, <laughs> that's hot. If you're like me, you wanted to think this was staged, since most things are now. And thank God for terrible TikTok tier actors allowing us to see right through those theatrics typically. But this was real, and tears could be seen welling in former comedian Will Smith's eyes as he shouted, Keep my wife's name out of your expletive mouth. G.I. Jane no joke だったんです。Oh, big man. I guess we're lucky you didn't have a gun on him, right? Would you have pistol whipped the shit out of Chris Rock, Will Smith? God damn. Did I mention a war is on? People killing, dying, women and children burnt alive, civilians deliberately being targeted, you know, target practice for these Russians. That's if they don't judge them sexy enough to get fucked at gunpoint. But shh, YouTube doesn't even want us talking about that. That's our life. Just like the quarantine that we couldn't fucking mention, people can't even talk about what could be killing them. We used to joke that celebrities would go out of their way to go wild at the request of the government to, you know, keep the dumb dumb Americans distracted. But this time we just know it's you. You're crazy. You got a fever, and the only prescription is more attention. Well, you got it, Will Smith. And what a sight to behold, you are indeed a nigga in a suit on stage, slapping your fellow brother over a joke? And it wasn't even mean spirited, easily triggered Twitter ain't got nothing on you, Will Smith. That's what people will see darkies fighting at an award show, even amidst war. I know you're all competing to be Kanye, you know? But you look ridiculous. You need fucking help. My biggest hope is that Chris Rock doesn't come out of this looking like anything other than the comedian god that he is. Having been able to not piss off people this long, it's a razor thin tightrope walk, boy. Everything's too edgy or too safe, so it's irrelevant. Just like this bitch ass fucking award show that nobody would be talking about if you could keep your shit together. That's what's really funny. He gets a crowd smiling before he even opens his mouth because when they see him, they think, boy, what's this dude gonna say? No malicious intent, just a dude telling jokes, but here come Will Smith. Will Smith is the joke, and he is not gonna allow anything to be funnier than you, right? Triggered. Oh my god. And now, after ruining Genie in a remake of Aladdin that nobody asked for, you on an award show that you literally can't pay people to pay attention to? Embarrassing yourself, striking another man, a fellow brother, in a sneakily executed sucker punch out of a casual stroll. Is this the no good that you claim you have gotten up to? The one little fight before your mom got scared? <laughs> Said you move in with your auntie and uncle to Bel Air? I get it. Your wife has a condition that causes baldness. But if this was the appropriate response, man, From people who the internet already feel kind of desperate for attention, you revealing something in the interview. Everybody, when we see your name in the headlines now, this is how we always feel. Look at this picture. This is us. Allow me to direct you to this Michael Jordan fucking video. Stop it. Get some help. Will Smith, from a former fan, what the fuck are you doing? You represent more than just yourself on figurative and literal stage. If you think you and your wife and kids that you force fame with are sacred and cannot be spoken about, you've confused yourself with Scientology. Rock was not mean spirited. Anyone who looks at your wife knows she is factually bald, and your reaction was incorrect. But you asked Rock what the five fingers said to the face anyway? As woke as things are in Hollywood, with untalented and no skill people getting jobs because they're the right gender, they're the right ethnicity, I hate what you have done 
for the black perception among crotchety old bastards that sit in these positions of power because they're going to look at us through you. You did it. You got us talking about your irrelevant and cancerous award show. Actually invited Zelensky to be on an award show. Cringe. Will Smith, may the memes have mercy on your soul.